how God use your future to prepare you for a better future and blessings. Your first time watching this my videos, please subscribe if you're watching and you've never subscribed. If you're watching again, make sure you subscribe now and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos. You know, one of the greatest struggles in Christianity or with Christians is self uh, self condemnation worrying about the past past pains and sometimes past mistakes as well uh, thinking God is no longer accepting them or is no longer accepting you let me tell you something about God in fact when you have a bad past whatever mistakes whether you kill somebody whether you've been uh, in, been living in extreme sin like don't allow that to bring you down no matter how sinful you've been in the past because that is a more of an advantage let me tell you you have the upper hand when you have a bad past and the the better the past the greater god can use you i'm not saying this just to console you or something i will i want to explain something relating to the bible I'll be referring to people in the Bible. Most people who've been used by God in the Bible are people who bad past with with serious mistakes. It's rare that you'll find someone in the Bible who was just a good Christian from the get go and never had mistakes. But most people who were used very greatly, who were blessed greatly by God, are people with bad past why was that the case why was that the case okay before i dive in why was that the case let me give you an example anyone if you go through a trial for example more likely god is gonna bless you more just like joseph he was able to maintain god's blessings and maintain a greater blessings because he went through serious trials was betrayed by his brothers, was accused by a woman because she wanted to sleep with him and and he refused just because she was somebody's wife. He went to prison, but at the end, he became second in command to the king of Egypt. He had a very bad past. Not a sinful past, but the trials. And he was a good believer in God. He was a good, great believer. He never did any wrong. It's not like he was sinning before God. But that made God to be able to bless him so that he can maintain his blessing. And to show that he had a good character, he, was, he did not even try to have revenge or exact revenge on his brothers for betraying him or to, attempting to kill him and sending him to Egypt. That's the great character he had because of what he went through and how much he believed in God. Another example, you can look at the likes of that lady, uh, Rahab. The la that lady, she said, she was a great grand, great great grandmother of of uh, of David. But in the beginning, she was not part of the people who went to uh, who went to Egypt. I mean, who went to Canaan. She helped the people of Israel that time, and at the end, they spared him and. Later on, she mingled with the Israelites and she became the great great grandmother or great 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 great. I don't know what, but uh, I'm missing it a little bit there. But she was the great great grandmother of David. But look whom he used. He didn't look for someone. And as a result, Jesus was the descendant of her. Jesus, the Son of God. They used a prostitute. You see where? Another example, why is this? This is the case. Let me tell you something before I give you more. I have many examples. Just try to look at different people in the Bible. But when you have a bad past, it's easy for God to use you. Why? Because you go before God with a humble heart, looking at yourself as someone who's not worthy to be used by God to receive his forgiveness and, and the likes. 
That's why even God was able to use Paul because Paul had a bad past. Paul was persecuting Christians and as God selected him by grace to use him, it was easy for Paul. That's why Paul always kept quoting it that I was not worth, I was, I was the least of the apostles, but God is now using me in this manner. He was more appreciative. The more you have bad past, the more you know, acknowledge how bad you are before God without Christ, it's easy for you to remain humble. That's why God said, I shall, um, you shall exalt the humble and shame or put down the proud. He does not like pride. So when you have a good past, you've always been living right before God, there's the temptation. You always feel like God owes you. Most people who have been Christian from a young age, grew up in Christian families and all, that's why they are the most prideful Christians. And it's rare to find them being greatly used. Why? This is the reason why. Because they've been doing good, they've been praying, they've been living a holy life, a pure life and all. And deep down, pride creeps in. It's almost like they can't help it. When you're in that state, you can't help it. You feel like God owes you. Why are bad things happening? I've always been praying. I've been faithful. I'm not just like that man who was boasting when give, Jesus was giving an example. He boasted that I give my tithe. I'm prayerful and all. Then one man who was humble was like, Lord, he, he, he started hitting his chest and said, Lord, I'm a sinner. Forgive me and all of that. And God honored this prayer rather more than rather than that one of the men who was boasting about his tithing his faithfulness before God and all. So being having a bad past, it's more of an advantage. Because the moment God takes you out from the dead you were at, he begins using you greatly. He begins putting more of his grace and you become more and more humble and appreciative because you feel like you don't deserve. So whenever you go through something, remain humble. Even if you've been a good Christian and you're experiencing trials, please, I'm begging you, don't get tempted to grow pride and feel like God owes you. Be like Job. Be humble. And Job was also this close to bringing more, ex uh, manifesting so much pride. Because he didn't understand what was going on and he didn't deserve whatever was going on. Fortunately, he did not curse God. So when you know you've been good, that's how you're going to complain like Job. But fortunately, he didn't curse God. But he, if you can read the book of Job as he was going through trials, you can see how he was complaining on why things, bad things were happening to him and all. That is a trap of when you're a good Christian from the beginning. When you don't sometimes encounter problems, you don't sometimes make mistakes and learn from them. When you've always been good. The moment things bad things happen, it's easy to even backslide. But when you have a bad past and you learn how to be humble and to go to God and apologize, ask for forgiveness, even when something comes, you feel like, God, you don't owe me. You glorify him for what you're going through. Just like Paul, who was always glorifying God, even whether in trials or tribulations and all, he was appreciative. So embrace your past. You go through a wilderness, whether you are a, a great, good Christian and feel like you don't deserve what's going on, don't be tempted to complain and feel like God owes you. Remain humble and look, remember that you are saved by the grace of God, not by your works. God does not owe you. Your works, they don't qualify you for God to honor you. So God can use you even as in a great measure that he uses someone who has a bad past. Because most people who are used greatly are people with bad past you don't believe me you can also look i also have so much examples from the bible you can also look the history of god's generals they have many bad past or them some make great mistakes you can look at the likes of catherine coolman look at a a ellen they had those things of drinking and all like a a, a ellen and so much more just look at them read their history you realize and they're the ones who are used greatly. But today we have many Christians who seem like they've been knowing God from a young age. But most of them, God never really uses them. So I hope you enjoyed today's message and like my video. Give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. 
and share with your friends, families, and all who might need such a message. Some who are going through depression as Christians and all. As for me, Ishmael, I will see you next time. Remember, you know what I'm about to say, right? Yeah. Subscribe.